In this screencast, we will examine the airflow through an axial flow compressor. So here we have uh, a gas turbine engine fitted to a, an aircraft. It has a number of compressor stages, it has a combustion can, and it has a turbine. So if I turn the engine around by 90 degrees, here's our compressor, and the air is coming in in this direction. So let's look at the airflow through the various parts of the compressor. So we have some inlet guide vanes, and we have compressor blades. So inlet guide blades, compressor blades, then our stator blades, then onto the second stage rotors, second stage stators. Air flowing into the engine will be coming in this direction. It will follow the contours of the inlet guide vanes and will approach the rotating rotor blades in that direction. But the rotor blades have a velocity. So the blades are rotating in this direction, but the relative airflow across the blades will be in that direction. So the air that the rotor blade sees is a combination of these two factors, which is that resultant relative airflow. The air flows over the rotor blades and then leaves the first stage rotor blades at that angle. But the blades are still rotating in this direction. So the air is coming off and is being rotated in this direction. And that will give us a resultant velocity of such. We can examine this closely now on the next slide. So here's the engine reproduced. The air flows in and let's say there's the axis of the engine. As it leaves the inlet guide vanes it has a velocity and a direction. So let's reproduce that out here. The rotor blades are rotating with a velocity due to their RPM. And again, let's reproduce that over here. That gives us a result of airflow, which we can reproduce over here. The air leaving the rotor blades has a velocity and a direction as such. And we're going to reproduce that over here. But the engine is still rotating in this direction. So the air that's leaving the rotor blades is at an angle. Uh, relative to the axis of the engine. So I've just reproduced the axis over here and the rotational speed of the engine I'm going to show over there. So the combination of this vector and that vector will be that and I can reproduce that over here. So basically the airflow coming into the engine was at this uh, velocity and speed and it's leaving the engine uh, stage compressor I should say at this velocity and speed. And the difference between these is called the change in word speed. Now let's look at how we can calculate that word speed. Here we have the, the vectors reproduced down below. If I look at this triangle here, so that triangle there, I know if I know what this angle is, so the angle at which the air is leaving the compressor, I'll be able to determine the exit world velocity. And now if I look at this triangle here, I know if I know the angle at which the air is coming into the compressor, I'll be able to determine the input world velocity. So subtracting one from the other, I'll be able to determine the world speed. This quantity up here. Now to determine this we'll need to know what this quantity is here. And that quantity is the axial velocity of the airflow. So if we know this axial velocity and we know the angle at which the air is coming into the compressor and, and we know the angle at which the, blade is leave, the air is leaving the compressor, we'll be able to calculate the change in word speed. 